Welcome to this video. Thank you so much for being here, especially on a subject matter that is not that pleasant for any orchid grower when it is time to throw orchids away. I am doing this on camera also because I am testing out a new mic. The problem with my outdoors is I have a lot of noise interference from beyond the hedge. I can filter out a lot of noise in the background, but it is very time consuming. And then sometimes when my hands are in the middle of a motion, if it's noisy, then I can't filter out anything. And that is a problem. So I bought myself another mic and I think that we might actually not be able to eliminate the whole situation outside. So for future reference, any noise that comes from the on the hedge, well, I do apologize. And I know I say that a lot because it happens a lot. And now I have a car on idle. So this video, if you're here watching me remove all my dead orchids, I appreciate your time and I look forward to your feedback as we're going to combine it with a sound check. There was the gate just opening. It's all fun and games. Anyway, dead orchids, we hate that. At least I do. I struggle with it. And this is something I could have done a couple of months ago. And I haven't. I was waiting for the right time to do it. Throwing a dead orchid away is never the right time. Maybe, maybe just a little bit, you know, when you see it's going to go. Don't watch it decline. Throw it away. Get it over with and you'll be moving on and enjoying the orchids that are actually doing well. In my case, I was always waiting for the right time and huh, the sound check might just be the right time. While I chop away at my Vanda Tessellata Black. So this orchid declined very, very rapidly. First of all, because of a copper treatment that I did so that I could protect it from a fungus I could see was developing on the leaves. Ha! <laughs> well, I overdosed on that treatment because it was supposed to rain for the next 48 hours after the treatment. So I went a little bit heavy on the copper doses and then it didn't rain. On top of that, I didn't have adequate water supply, fresh good water supply to flush away the excess copper and it was a perfect storm. My climate is very, very dry and if I don't have RO water to provide and water my orchids with, then we are pretty much done for because my well water or municipal water is extremely dirty. It is all kicking off in the background now. I am super curious how this is going to come out in editing. So back to my Tessellata. She literally dehydrated in and upon herself because I ruined the velamen with the copper. I pretty much killed the velamen, killed anything that could happen with the velamen absorbing water. And that is when the orchid looks dehydrated for many, many months. And I was hoping to be able to recover her with a lot of water, which I didn't have. And then, of course, bit by bit, she dried out. The velamen was completely destroyed. And there was nothing I could do to save this orchid. What I would like to try and do is save the basket because that's just the way I am. But I will do this and see if I can't just pull the orchid out. Well, she did grow very, very well, clearly. <laughs> She's not coming out as easily as I would have thought. So there are plenty of roots down in the lava rock where she was anchored right at the beginning when she came into my collection. It's a shame. She's a beautiful orchid. She's also very, very fragrant. Finally got her to bloom, got her growing well. And then the perfect storm in 2021 and I have another orchid that I'm going to throw away while I am doing this I might as well attack them all and I'll be cleaning up my basket afterwards because that lava rock is going to be recycled so goodbye thank you for the blooms thank you for the fragrance I'm sorry I'm so sorry that I did this to you, you deserved a lot better. 
Look, even the fern died. <laughs> the fern that was growing in here, that died as well. Oh, just goes to show, even ferns need super clean water to do well. Right, let's get the next orchid out and talk about that one. Here is what's left of my Plectral Mintos caudatus, a beautiful orchid that I got from Großrechner Orchidin that I really thought I would be able to cultivate, seeing as 80% of the time in my climate it is very, very hot. What I didn't factor in was, she likes it very, very humid as well, a minimum of 75% during the winter and 80 to 85% consistently, preferably throughout the entire year. That is where I went wrong. And I thought, well, what I'm going to do is take her in her basket, don't disturb the roots. And I had her for a long time in a very clear pot. And I had to remove her out of the pot because she was coming in through the holes. All her roots were coming in through the holes that I had put into that clear pot because I wanted to enjoy watching the roots grow. And that was a problem. So I thought, well, here's what we're going to do. Keep her in her basket and put her into semi-hydro because this orchid should never really dry out. She doesn't do a winter rest at all and always needs access to water. And I thought, well, my leka and self-watering would help as a humidity buffer for the lack of humidity in my climate. No, as you can see, that didn't work because my winters get much too cold for her and she does not want to go below 22 degrees Celsius. And my winters, where she lives during the winter time indoors, can drop all the way to 14 Celsius, something that Plectral Mintos caudatus absolutely hates. What a shame. I'm bummed about this one. I really wanted to grow this one. And if it hadn't been a healthy orchid, I would have also replaced it and tried again. But I don't have to even risk doing that because I am very well aware that my climate is far too dry. And even if it's only for four months, it is far too cold for her to make it through and survive long enough to then be in her adequate climate again. Nice, warm, toasty. Goodbye, Plectral Minthus Caudatus. I am really, really sorry that I failed you. Spring cleaning, we are going to get radical. These orange nuggets were never ever meant to bloom because I did not want to get to the point of admiring, loving, enjoying the color of the blooms. I wanted to get rid of them many, many months ago prior to them even blooming out so that I wouldn't get all weak about it. But here we are. Have you ever thrown an orchid away that was in bloom? No? Yes, let me know in the comments because this is a first for me. Even though she is in bud, I am not waiting. It is now or never. This orchid came to me also from a very reputable nursery, my favorite nursery, Groß Rechner Orchideen. Everything that I'm throwing away now seems to have come from them. That doesn't mean they're a bad nursery. That just means we were out of luck for a while. So, Orange Nugget, I bought two by mistake. I only wanted one. And then I saw all the spotting on the leaves very, very early days. So I bought another one, which went to Portugal, to Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents, because I thought that one was healthy. Mic check, mic check. I'm doing this while I speak, just to make sure that I get a good feedback. So I don't want to be throwing away my lecker. I'm going to clean this root ball. But yeah, 
she is also going in the bin. This should have happened, as I mentioned, months ago, so please don't feel bad the fact that she is in bud. Same with this one. Please do not feel bad that she is in bloom. She is just as affected by, it's possibly a virus, but I can't get rid of it. I have tried a lot of things with this orchid, including neglect. <laughs> yes, I'm not saying that is the way to go. <laughs> do not do as I did. Neglect your orchids, don't do that. But I've tried to pump her full with supplements, gave her a proper copper treatment, not an overdose, and all of these things that, you know, you already know if an orchid is virus, you're not gonna get very far anyway. Because, hey, there is no cure for a virus except a flamethrower. So I'm going to be removing this lecker as well, and I'm going to keep it separate from anything else that I'm sterilizing at this point in time, because this lecker is going to go into bleach. Yes, that hurts too, doesn't it? So, it's a wrap for three of my orchids, two of which were pretty much, I would say, my competence. I overestimated it. I thought that my environment would be a great place for a warm to hot grower. I thought it would be absolutely fine while it just has to tolerate a few months, a little bit, you know, lower than anyone would prefer. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm seeing beautiful root tips. Like I said, this should have happened months ago, but I'm not going to get weak about it. Anyway, if a vanda gets too big and then there is not enough water supply and then there is a fungicide overdose, yeah, pretty much, it's a goner. And then you get a virus orchid that should have been maybe you know, history also three years ago, but you think that you can help it out and then you think you can do better and then you think, nah, stop thinking, it's virus, there is a problem, there is no doubt about it and well, I procrastinated in the removals of my orchids. Here we are, spring, I'm in the mood, I'm gonna be strong enough and I want to say thank you very, very much for watching also for allowing me to sound check another new mic and i have a feeling that we're just going to have to put up with the noise beyond the hedge i'm gonna have to get less influenced by it accept it for what it is and i appreciate everybody that watches my videos and doesn't mind a little bit of au naturel in the background and watches the videos anyway as long as the information is understandable i'm hoping that that will be good enough because chasing mics at the moment is not an option for me anymore. The season is hopefully about to begin and I need to be ready because there will be a lot of repotting and cleaning coming up and that is the plan moving forward with this new mic. We shall see. Thank you for watching. I think I already said that, but I do appreciate you watching the videos. <laughs> I wish you a fabulous, fabulous day. Just on one condition, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.